Here's where it gets a bit difficult. When we point a thermal camera at something that uh, um, defies the physics, um, a lot of people don't realise uh, the differences between glass and metal and how they reflect and how they don't reflect, how they absorb radiation, how they don't absorb radiation. Those topics are really important to understand because when you get a building like this uh, in front of you, um, it can blow your mind a little bit. We've got a copper clad building here and you can see that the copper is almost 100% reflector. The copper will not, we will not be able to detect heat or any form of um, heat on those surfaces because they are pretty much 98% reflecting the surroundings. Um, and the glass is reflective to a certain degree, but nowhere near as the more as the metal. So all of these factors have to be understood um, for you to come to a, a reasonable conclusion as to what's going on. And uh, if you understand all of those factors, you can actually see through the problems that this is illustrating um, because you understand where it's coming from. The black in the in this image here is effectively the copper reflecting the cold sky, which can be temperatures to down to minus 20 on a clear night from those sorts of angles. That could be returning a value of minus 20, uh, which is why it looks black. 